Hello, my name is Ashiria, and today we'll be talking about the physics of spacecrafts. Let's get started. So first, let's talk about the different forces on a spacecraft. As you know, before launch, everything on Earth, including this space shuttle, has a force of gravity on it, which pulls it towards the ground. This stops the rocket from being able to move upwards since it needs to first combat that force of gravity. Therefore, the rocket needs to create its own power of thrust in the opposite direction of gravity and in a more magnitude. This allows it so that the thrust can overcome the force of gravity and the entire rocket can move upward. However, where does the energy to propel the spacecraft come from? How does it create this thrust? This happens through chemical energy. You may have noticed that whenever a rocket launches, there's a lot of fire that comes out of the back end. This is because within the rocket, there's a lot of fuel that once reacted with oxygen combusts, which means it basically burns. And through this, the fire comes out of the back. When this fire goes towards the ground, this is an action towards the ground. Now, Newton's third law of motion states that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. In this case, that equal and opposite reaction is the rocket moving upwards. This allows the rocket to combat the force of gravity and move away from the ground and towards space. So why can't the helicopter go to the moon? Well, in order to think about this, we have to think about what the helicopter is relying on to create thrust. The answer to this is that the helicopter is spinning its blades and pushing against the wind and the air to create its thrust. However, as it goes higher and higher, there is less and less air in the atmosphere. When there's no more air for the propellers to push against, the helicopter can no longer go up. This also relies on Newton's third law of motion. Thank you for listening. Hopefully now you know what type of forces act on a spacecraft and can apply this to other things that you see every day.